Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Continuing with the series and the next leak under my magnifying glass is the Euroleague. The rules for which players are eligible are something different for international competitions than for domestic leagues. The first rule still applies that only players that will play for the first time in the competition are eligible for my list. Usually the second rule was that only non-domestic players will eligible, but this rule doesn't apply in international competitions. The rule about being 27 years old or younger also stays the same. The players on the list are not necessarily the best but just the most interesting to me and I expect that they will not have any problems translating to their new team and league. Also, the players are not in any particular order. Starting with Steven Enoch. I really liked him last year, also made a report on him and said that he has the talent and potential for the highest level and here we are now. He had some great games and preparations and first rounds of ACB2, but he still has room to improve. Offensively, he can bring a lot to the team, from finishing around the rim to stretching the floor or playing pick and roll. I expect that he will make some bigger improvements on the defensive end and become a great two-way big in this season. Great signing for Basconia and I can't wait to see Steven compete against the best players in Europe. This will be the first season for Dante Hall in Europe after a few not successful NBA seasons where he played mostly in the G League. I believe his game will translate to Europe perfectly. Dante operates mostly closer to the rim and is a really active rebounder on both sides of the floor. Has great feel and instincts for rebounds and somehow always at the right place. Showing some great motor and defense too and he could be one of the best defenders in Euroleague on the big man spots. I think Dante could have a nice career in Europe and not many bigs will have an easy time playing against him on both sides of the floor. Another hole on my list is Devon Hall who signed for Olympia Milano. They are not connected in any way and also their playing style is completely different. Devon brings much more to the team on the offensive end. A very good scorer and he proved that last season with Proce Bamberg in Germany and in Basketball Champions League. He has a good positional size and a strong body and uses it very wisely on the offensive end can score in a lot of different ways and I think he will fit well in the system with many good passers and experienced players in Milano. He needs to improve his isolation and pick and roll game to become an even better player, but as said, even his off-ball game will fit in this team really well. As I said, my rules in international competitions are a little different and domestic players are eligible for the list too. A player that I really can't wait to see on this level is Andreas Obst. He is a great offensive player that was improving his offensive game year after year and now he has become a basically complete offensive package that can score in many ways. His shot from distance is still his main weapon and he is one of the best shooters in Euroleague. Byron has a lot of guards in their team so it will be a hard task for coach Tinkeri to distribute the minutes to all players but I'm sure that Ops will get his share and he will be an important piece of their offensive game. Mariel Sheok came to Europe last season in January when he signed for Borsa Sport in the Turkish League. He was one of the best scorers of the Turkish League and it was no secret that he is ready for a new challenge. Mariel is a great player in isolation and transition, really fluid with the ball in his hands and can easily throw the defense out of balance. Dangerous as a shooter and also can bring the rock to the rim. Now Fenerbahce has in Mariel and Nando De Colo two great scorers and some other great pieces in their team and they could be a really good team if everything works well. I really like the scoring ability from Mariel and I think he'll be able to show his qualities on the Euroleague level too. When speaking of interesting newcomers, we cannot overlook Victor Wembanyama. The 17-year-old big is one of the main candidates for the first pick in 2023 NBA draft and the best prospect in Europe at the moment. He has a sky-high defensive potential and his ability to make plays and offers are intriguing already, but the scary thing is that he can still improve in all areas. Many eyes will be on him this season and he will probably get some minutes to show off his talents. One of the youngest players in Euroleague and in my opinion also by far the most interesting one. Keenan Evans is not a new name on this channel. I expected him first in some Eurocup team and later making a jump to the Euroleague, but he skipped a step and joined an Euroleague team directly. His all around offensive game where he could fill all the stats lines will definitely be helpful in this Maccabi team which is loaded with some great offensive players on backcourt spots. 
I believe that he is ready for a decent role in the Euroleague and that he will be one of the most important players in Maccabi, even though he probably won't be one of their top scorers. Jehaiva Floyd is one of the players I liked the most in the last few years in Europe and I'm really happy for him that he got an opportunity on Euroleague level. I was also requested a few times that I should make a report on him and I promise I will make it during the season. Jehaiva is an undersized but really athletic big that can make an impact in defense. He's able to switch in defense and also protect the rim extremely well. In offense he's very good in pick and roll actions and in transition where he can easily outrun other bigs. He has no mercy for the rim and goes for some powerful dunks most of the time. Great signing from Panathinaikos and I think Jehaiva is one of the players to watch and that he will bring some highlight plays in every match. Speaking of highlight plays, Josh Nebo is another player capable of bringing them every night. He's also not a new name on this channel and I will put his report in the cards too. Also an athletic and explosive big that has a lot to offer on both sides of the floor. He's still young and has room to improve and in my opinion he is one of the most promising young US bigs in Europe at the moment. I have high expectations from him and I believe he will have a good season in Euroleague. Finishing the list with another Jalgiris player and one of the biggest signings on paper in this offseason, Emmanuel Moudier. He was the 7th pick in the 2015 NBA draft and has played more than 300 NBA games in his life. His way to the NBA was interesting since he decided to forgo college and joined a Chinese team Guangdong Sounder Tigers and this was his team before the NBA draft. Great penetrator, has great size and ability to finish under contact. I think he will easily beat the first line of defense and get to the rim in Europe where he will score a lot of his points. Not the best shooter from distance, lacks consistency but also not attempting many shots. His leadership ability will be very helpful to Zalgiris and I think he could have a nice season in Lithuania and in Euroleague. And this is it for this time. Tell me in the comments below who are the players you can't wait to see in the Euroleague in this season. The playlist of the newcomers to watch series is on the screen now and if you missed any episodes just click on the playlist and check it out now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode of this series. See you in the next video.